jump from Baltimore, you say you was, I never see you. What part you on? I got some family on the Alameda. I love my city, that's about me, and I bet they know. Okay, here's question number one. Uh, we're given a phi of, this. the symbol is phi, of xyz, so this is a multivariable function, um, which is equal to x squared uh, times z plus 1 plus x times y. And we're going to place this ODE, this new ODE, which we have to form first, uh, in normal form. So how are we going to construct this guy? So that, that basically just means we're going to take our phi function, and t is going to be like our x, our y is going to be like our y. That's going to be hard, right? I mean, uh, and then y prime is going to be our z. Okay, so phi of t and y and y prime is now going to be equal to, so in for the x spot, we're going to plug in a t. So we have a t being squared, right? And then times z, but in the z spot, we now have a y prime, so that'd be y prime, right? And then we're going to add it to 1 plus x, and instead of an x, now we have this t here. Okay, so we plug in a t there, and in for y, we just plug in our normal y, okay? So we have a y here. All right, so now this whole thing, as we were given, is equal to, should be equal to 0 here, right? So this should be equal to 0, therefore this thing should be equal to 0. Okay, so now we're just going to extract this part of our equations here, right? And then uh, let's write it in a more simple form without so many parentheses. So t squared times y prime plus 1 plus t times a y is equal to 0. So now we have this equation. This is the one we were trying to form, right? And now our objective is to get it in normal form. Okay, and just a reminder, normal form means you pull out, well, you find the highest derivative that occurs in your equation. So in ours, that'll be y prime. This is the first derivative, right? And we're going to isolate it. We're basically just going to get it by itself on, uh, on its own side of the equal sign. Okay, so first, by in order to do this, we can subtract this guy over. So this whole 1 plus t times y. So we're going to subtract that on both sides, 1 plus t times a y. Okay, so these will cancel, and we get t squared times y prime is equal to negative 1 plus t, and then times a y. And finally, we're just going to divide by t squared on both sides, divide by t squared. These ones cancel out, and we end up with an equation that looks like y prime is equal to negative, parenthesis, 1 plus t times a y, and then all over a t squared. Okay, and we've obtained our ODE in normal form.